I'm here in my home cooking, and today we are going to be making crepes. So currently we're at home in isolation, so I thought, because I make them honestly a lot, I'm really just turning the camera and I'm explaining it, that's literally, that's the only difference today, except I'm not going to cap. This company's been hitting me up, or, I don't want to say company because it's not like clothing company. Like, I also don't want to say that. I'm just going to say a company who wants to work with me, but it's not possible yet because A, because of the corona, of course, and B, because it's not local in Vancouver. But um, last night, so this company has been hitting me up, I would say, I think since November, this company has been messaging me, but they're not from Vancouver, so it's really hard to do any work that requires physical work. If you're not together, it's obviously not that easy unless you're just gonna hop on a plane, which is not reality in my situation. So anyways, this company has been hitting me up, but they said that there is something. They said that there is an online opportunity and to make a video of me cooking something and just to show my face and show them what's up. I'm not gonna get too much into detail about the company. I'm not gonna share what they are and what they do because obviously it's new for me. So I've not really seen any work in progress from that. So I'm not gonna share anything yet just because it's entirely brand new. But, um, but I'm also not gonna front on why I'm here today. But the video I'm gonna send to this team versus the video you're gonna see on YouTube are completely different. It's gonna be the same video in a way. Like, you're gonna see me cooking, but they're both, I'm gonna edit it differently. So yeah, they're obviously gonna be two different videos. And so yeah, let's just get into it. And today the theme is we're gonna be making crepes. So that's everything I have right here. Right off the bat, I washed my hands already. You should too if you're doing this. So you need two eggs. These are my last two eggs, unfortunately. So big bowl. I almost dropped that. Did you guys see that? I'll slow mo that shit. Crack the second egg. Oh, there's a sh egg shell that fell in it. Two actually that fell in it. So into the compost it goes. And then you need some butter. Honestly, I don't know how much. I'm gonna put a little in, little thing in. And then you need one cup of flour. So I'm half Serbian, half Filipino. In the Serbian culture, because it's in Europe and I guess it's so close to France, crepes are a huge thing in our culture. So growing up, I would eat them almost all the time. From like the moments I remember, I was eating crepes. So a cup of flour. So from the moment I remember, I was eating crepes. And in Serbian, they're called palachinka. I've been eating palachinka my whole life. You need half a cup of water and half a cup of milk, so I'm just gonna do that. I'm just eyeballing everything. Who knows how this is gonna go. Just kidding, it'll go perfectly fine. And now, you got your bowl of commotion here. Now you just gotta get a whisk and, you know, whisk it up. This should only not take that long, a minute. God, I bought THC oil yesterday. This thing is so expensive. It was on sale for 40 bucks, but it's usually 70, so that's why I bought it. A box of chocolate fell over and hit that and that spilled. It wouldn't happen any other way though. I guess I should just lick that because I haven't taken a dose today and I was actually going to and I guess that's why it was open and then I guess I opened it and forgot to take it. So I guess I'm gonna lick that and take it. That sounds pretty gross. I can't believe this is happening right now. This video is also supposed to be filmed, edited, and sent by 3 o'clock and it's 3.08 and I just started filming it. Thank God no one has messaged me and asked me where this is at because it is not up, it's not ready, it's coming though. But this THC bullshit just happened. I'm gonna use the little, whatever the fuck you call this thing. That's so annoying. That shit's so expensive. Okay, whatever, as I was saying, Fuck that so annoying. Okay, anyways. The video that you're gonna see on YouTube and the video that I'm sending in is so different. I'm gonna post the other video that I'm sending in because I just want you to see like with the work of editing, you can really do some shit. Okay, so I think it's pretty good now. You don't want it to be too thick. You want it to be thin. When I was buying this pan, when I 
I remember I thought to myself that it was the perfect pan for crepes. And that, that's literally the reason why I bought this. It's the perfect crepe pan. For real, no cap. Okay. Now you're gonna wanna butter the pan. You don't wanna use oil for this. By the way the butter melts, you should be able to tell if the pan is ready for the crepe or not. If it's sizzling and it melts right off the bat, yeah, I would put the crepe on. If it takes a little moment to melt, I would just wait until the pan gets a little warmer. So usually I make crepes with cheese and ham, cheese and prosciutto, you know, you know the vibes. But I don't got any cold cuts in my house today. So I guess the only savory crepe that I'm going to be making is just the cheese one, which is fine, I guess. I would fuck with some, I would love some prosciutto, but I don't got any prosciutto. So what can you do? I think it's ready now. You know how we'll find out? It is ready. Here we go, first one. Usually a known myth as well, my mom always told me this too when I was growing up, that um, first one is always the worst one. That's like, I feel like a life tip, but we were talking about crepes. But I'm thinking about life. The first one is always the worst one now. Let's see here. Little update on the crepe cam. It's cooking, it's cooking. I think it's doing well though. Can you see? Yeah, you can. Then when I'm done finishing this video, I literally have to edit the fuck out of it and have it sent ASAP because it's supposed to be sent 20 minutes ago. Okay. So yeah, you do want it to look like that. To be honest, it literally looks like an egg. But yeah, you want it to look like that roughly. I love savory crepes for sure. And fun fact, actually, I don't speak Filipino or Tagalog, I mean. But I speak, or I understand all the Serbian. I definitely can understand everything, and I can speak like a bit. I talk to my mom in Serbian. People think it's crazy that I can speak Serbian. I can speak three languages, actually. I can speak English, obviously. It's French. I went to French immersion from grade one until I graduated high school, so that was 11 years, and I barely can speak that language. I can, I can speak it okay. And I speak Serbian. That was the first language I guess I was able to speak. Pretty crazy, right? People would never guess that of me, but I was only raised in a Serbian household, never even an Asian nun. But anyways, the palichinka is ready. This is like the perfect amount of palichinka here. This one's gonna be a dope one. I'm gonna put some fruit up in this bitch and some Nutella. So I got some frozen fruit here. This one has strawberries, peaches, and blueberries. So the frozen fruit here, I'm gonna just put in the microwave for a minute. Do you guys think I can flip it? I think I can flip it, but let's see. Nope. 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 Oh, that one almost fell off that time. Nope. Wait. You ready? Nope. Why won't it flip? Hey, yes sir! This is done too. So... That only means one last thing. This is how I eat my crepes. I love Nutella too, and I love frozen blueberries. Nice. Cool, so these are the three. Ooh, that one's rolling. That Nutella one is thick as fuck. But yeah, cheers. <laughs> and they're great, so if there's anything I would change about them, I would just add literally any sort of cold cut, prosciutto, ham, salami, to a savory one, I, that's how I would eat it. And then for a sweet one, simply put some butter and put some sugar on, that's pretty good as well. That's actually one of my favorites, I just don't have any sugar in my house. But yeah, so that's the end of this video. If you're watching this, make sure to leave a thumbs up. That's how the channel grows, just on that recently. So please do hit that thumbs up. Leave a comment, tell me what you thought of this video. Just say something, say what up. And if you haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button and share my videos with your people. Anyways, Peace. I'll see you guys soon. Thanks for watching.